Good Joe Cook here in the Sports Seat for you this evening. It's Tuesday, so we start with the Nanook Corner. Today, we recap the opening contest of 2014 for the ski and swim teams. Let's just say they're off to a good start in 2014. Today, UAF got a recruit for the 2014-2015 season. Catherine Stark from Palmer signed her national letter of intent to join UAF. Stark anchored Palmer's 400-yard freestyle relay state championship team and had two top finishes at state. She joins North Pole's Martha Hood as an early signee. And speaking of new, newcomer Naya Nin made her debut on Saturday, taking second place in the 100 breaststroke as the Nanooks win a quad meet in La Mirada, California over Biola, Pomoza Pitzer, and Fresno Pacific. Freshman Victoria Adams won three events, the 100 and 200 backstroke and 200 IM. Senior Benty Heller won the 500 and 100 freeze, and Margot Adams won the 100 butterfly in their first competition of 2014. UAF swims against Loyola Marymount in LA on Wednesday. In Nanook skiing, Logan Hahnemann is having a strong start. Yesterday, he was named Era Alaska Nanook of the Week for his performance at the U.S. Nationals over the weekend. Saturday, he finished 24th overall in the 15K Classic style race. Then on Sunday, he placed 5th in the 1.5K Skate Race A Final. He was second best among college skiers. And on the women's side, Nicole Baith is making a case for Rookie of the Year, going 19th overall in the 10K on Saturday, one of the youngest under 20 years of age to do it. And on Sunday, she qualified for the Constellation Final in the sprints after placing sixth in the semis. UAF will be back on the trails in Midway, Utah this Wednesday. Nanook Corner brought to you by Sports Medicine Fairbanks. In another Nanook Sports on Saturday, the women's basketball team went up against the 17th ranked Northwest Nazarene Crusaders. The Nanooks went on a 14-3 run to make it a one-point game in the first half. But the Crusaders, they closed the opening half on a 12-2 run and led 34-23 at halftime. And the Crusaders never trailed and won 88-72 in front of their home crowd in Nampa, Idaho. Freshman Jordan Wilson, however, has been tearing up the G-neck. She had a game-high 26 points for UAF. Taylor Simmons had 24 points for Nazarene, leading three others in double figures. Now UAF will be in front of its home crowd on Thursday hosting St. Martin's and then welcoming Western Oregon on Saturday. More on these matchups tomorrow. Two Nanooks garnered league awards this week in hockey senior left wing and team captain Colton Beck was named WCHA Offensive Player of the Week today. Beck had five points and a plus two plus minus rating in this weekend split with Minnesota State. Beck had two assists and the game winning goal in the 4-2 win over the Mavs on Friday then followed up with a goal and an assist in the 6-4 loss Saturday. The last time he had a five point weekend was against Mercyhurst in October. Beck is the third leading scorer on the Nanooks with 18 points so far this season. And in men's basketball, Andrew Kelly is having himself a season. Yesterday, he was named GNAT Redline Co-Player of the Week. Kelly averaged 13 points on 57% shooting and 9.5 rebounds in UAF's back-to-back -back wins over Simon Fraser on Thursday and number 15 Western Washington on Saturday. Kelly had 14 and 11 against the number 15 Vikings, who only scored 61 points in the 61-65 loss to UAF. They average about 90 a game. The Nanix are now 6-0 at home, the best start in 11 years. They go on the road this week, though, to Seattle Pacific on Thursday and Montana State Billings on Saturday. And to wrap things up, we have the results from the last games from tournaments of interior high school basketball teams over the weekend as well. In the Lime Solar Pepsi Invitational at ACS, the Allison girls fell to Petersburg 49-27 in the fourth place game. Kylie Wallace had a game high 23 points for the Berg, while Larissa Franklin had six points and seven rebounds for the Ravens. The boys team struggled with just three second half points and a 63-15 loss to Barrow in the third place game. Isaiah Savak had game high 16 for the Whalers. Both Ravens teams finished one and two at the tournament. ACS swept the tourney titles. And in the late third boys, they went two and one at the Doc Larson Round Ball Classic and finished with a 66-54 win over defending for a state champion East. All tournament selections, Tyreek Jennis and Kyle Carlson combined for 44 and laid up 66 points in the victory. The So High girls, they won the girls bracket and Archbishop Spalding from Maryland won the boys title. And at the Joe Floyd tournament, the West Valley Wolfpack girls defeated Sika 60-38. Ruthie Heber had 23 points and 17 rebounds and Carly Marquez scored 18 points and she also won a three-point contest. The undefeated Kodiak Bears won the tournament over Don in the championship. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. For more KTVF 11 sports, tweet us on Twitter, watch us on YouTube, you can get our app, and you also visit webcenter11.com. Stay warm, Alaska. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.